Yo, what's going on YouTube? Wook here, and welcome to the channel. Today I'll be going over my predictions for Retro Tracks in Mario Kart X. Let's dive right into it. So my thoughts are that Mario Kart X will be held to a high standard due to coming after 8 Deluxe. This means I think the base game of X will be the same as Deluxe, featuring 12 cups right off the bat. With that being said, 6 of those 12 cups will be Retro Cups, featuring all Retro Tracks. I know in 8 Deluxe the Triforce Cup and the Bell Cup brought us new tracks, but that was mainly due to it being DLC for the Wii U. Also I know you're all probably asking about the Triforce Cup, don't you worry, I have a replacement. Anyhow, let's get on with the predictions. Starting with the Shell Cup. For track number 1, I believe we need to start doing justice to my man's Luigi, and that is by starting off the Shell Cup with GBA Luigi Circuit. This track is super unique with the rain effect and having a huge blimp that flies around the track is just really freaking cool. I'm 99% sure that the Shell Cup will start with a circuit track, so why not choose one based around Luigi? We got a ton of Mario circuits in Deluxe, it's time to spread the love to Luigi. For track number 2, I think it would be neat to see a remix track from Tor be brought into a console title. I believe RMX Donut Plains 1 would be a perfect fit. The fun creative twist on this track is super cool, and adding lily pads instead of the typical bridge or underwater section was a very nice touch. Plus, with Luigi Circuit being a slightly harder circuit track, I think switching to a fun, relaxing track like this one would work great. Now on to track number 3, N64 Koopa Troopa Beach. First off, I'm honestly super surprised this track didn't make it into Deluxe, due to the fact that you can see this track in the background when racing on Sunshine Airport. But besides that, I think this track is very fun, relaxing, and just an overall good time. I also really enjoy this track's music, and can even picture them adding some form of Mario Odyssey vibes in a new arrangement of the music. I think this track fits perfectly in the third spot of the Shell Cup. For the final track of the Shell Cup, though before I say it, I know this track is pretty simple in design, but I think it can get a really nice upgrade and some nice graphic enhancements to really make it pop. This track is none other than DS Yoshi Falls. I really enjoyed this track back on the DS. It was fun driving onto the waterfalls and seeing the giant Yoshi egg in the middle of the track, and that's why I think this track could get a little extra love. Similar to how RMX tracks are made, maybe you could race towards the egg? Then if you use anti-gravity, assuming that's in the next game, to race back up one of the waterfalls and you just go back on the track like normal? In the end, I think this track doesn't deserve the hate it gets, and I hope to see it get brought back. Now let's talk about the Banana Cup. I think starting off with SNES Mario Circuit 2 would be really nice, as it seems to be the fan favorite of all the other SNES Mario circuits. It has a better overall layout and a fun glide section over part of the course. Plus, the SNES started it all, so we have to pay some homage to it before getting all the other game's retro tracks. For the second track, I believe GBA Lakeside Park would be a good fit. The volcano being the overall main attraction of the track would probably look so epic with HD graphics and better overall mechanics. Plus, we got Riverside Park in Deluxe, so it's time to see the other park. The third track should definitely be Wii Dry Dry Ruins. I know a lot of people wanted this track to make it into Deluxe, one of those people being my good pal Ryder Kart, and trust me, I get it. It's probably one of the best desert themed tracks out there and deserves to make a return. I think no matter what cup this track is placed in, I think being the third spot is where it belongs. For the final track of the Banana Cup, should definitely be the Radical N64 DK's Jungle Parkway. DK loves bananas, so I think one of his themed tracks should be in the Banana Cup. This track is super fun, especially with the big boost section over the steamboat. There are so many fun turns and neat shortcut that makes me think this track would play extremely nice on an updated game. In the end, we are definitely bound to get some form of a DK track in one of these cups. It's time for the Leaf Cup. This cup has to be my most interesting cup, but the Leaf is a pretty interesting item, so I think it makes sense. When first making the list, my buddy Sean Ray pointed out that I had no snow tracks, so of course I needed to go back and add one. I think N64 Frappe Snowland is the best choice to pick. The huge walls of snow, the snowmen getting in your way, and the music is just a great vibe. I feel like with the new hardware, they could probably add an effect where the giant snow walls start to fall apart throughout the laps, or add some form of anti-gravity where you could drive on the walls. Either way, this is a classic snow track and it deserves some more love. For track number 2, I think we need to give Luigi just a bit more love, and take us back to DS Luigi's Mansion. I mean, come on, this track is super iconic, and with Luigi most likely getting another Luigi's Mansion game, it would be a great way to promote it. I really wish we didn't get Twisted Mansion in Deluxe so that we could have gotten this track. I just think we need another Luigi's Mansion track again, and maybe they could go to a hotel similar to the one in Luigi's Mansion 3. 
I believe that track number three should be the classic GCN Dino Dino Jungle. Between this track and DK Mountain, it created probably one of the biggest debates for the booster course pass, and that was which track would make it in. DK Mountain was clearly the winner, so I think it's time for Jungle to shine again. With the graphic enhancements it could get, I think they could really make the cave section pop and even add more details to the dinosaurs. For the final track of the Leaf Cup should be 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar. Man, do I just love this track, and was sad to hear it got cut for Neo Bowser City in the original Wii U DLC. The whole nighttime Arabian Town vibes is just really nice, and the track layout is also super fun. This is one of my favorite 3DS tracks, and it deserves to be brought back with all its glory. Now let's go to what's usually the craziest, and I guess hardest cup of the bunch, the Lightning Cup. This one is what I believe to be full of bangers, and don't worry, there is another cup with banger tracks too. To start off the Lightning Cup, we got DS Airship Fortress. I know that this track is a fan favorite and everyone wants to see it return. I know a lot of people were sad to see another Mario Circuit make it into the Booster Course Pass instead of this track, but hey, Nintendo needed to save some of the cooler tracks for the next game, and that's what I believe they did with this course. For the second track, I believe will be a Wii U track, and that is the fun Dragon Driftway. This track is so freaking cool, and even though we have been playing the Wii U tracks for 10 years, I still think this track will be just as fun as when it first arrived on the Wii U. The layout and design is amazing, some of the shortcuts are really fun, and don't even get me started on the music, it just slaps. If they do end up bringing Wii U tracks back, I really hope this one has a chance. For these next two tracks, they usually are always a Bowser's Castle followed by a Rainbow Road, so I have to keep that tradition. For this one, I think will be 3DS Bowser's Castle. I think it would just be a great fit. I love the mix of castle and mansion vibes. It shows the scary castle side, but also show how Bowser lives in a fancy place. In the end, I just hope we get some form of a Bowser's Castle. For the last track of the Lightning Cup, which is obviously a Rainbow Road, I think will be GCN Rainbow Road. I grew up with Double Dash, so these tracks have a special place in my heart, but man, this Rainbow Road just always stood out to me. The shooting stars that could land on the track leaving a star item, and the huge pipe that takes you back to the top of the track, it's just so unique. I really think they could do a fantastic job at bringing this track to life in the next game. Now it's time for my new cup, which I have a feeling everyone is expecting me to say a plant cup because of Piranha Plant Pipeline. Well that's not the case. This is the Heart Cup, and man, it's a straight vibe. To start off, we have GCN Peach Beach. I mean, come on, what did you expect with it being the Heart Cup? This track is so much fun, and seeing the return of Cataquax would be really freaking neat. I really couldn't think of a better track to kick off the Heart Cup. For the second track would be 3DS Daisy Hills, another fun and lovely track. The design for this track is so much fun, racing through flower fields, gliding through hot air balloons. It's just a great overall vibe, and I think it fits perfectly within the Heart Cup, especially coming right after Peach Beach. For the third track, which is also a fan favorite track, is DS Delfino Square. I love everything about Delfino. Super Mario Sunshine was my favorite game for the GameCube, so any track based around Delfino has my vote. The drawbridge is my favorite part, and it's probably the part that stands out to everyone else, and I think an HD glow up of this track would look fantastic, and they could probably even add a ton more easter eggs, like seeing Sunshine Airport. Speaking of Sunshine Airport, I think this track should be the final track of the Heart Cup. I mean, what better way to end this Isle Delfino trend? This was one of my top tracks in Deluxe, and I would love to see it again after our time ends with Deluxe. Plus, with the stronger hardware, they could probably do more with the airplanes, and on top of all this, what's a better way to end a cup by hopping on a plane and heading to the next one? The cup with all the tracks you've been waiting for. It's time for the Bell Cup, which I believe will be the final base game retro cup for Mario Kart X. Starting with, of course, Piranha Plant Pipeline. The track that had everyone bamboozled because it didn't make it into the booster course pass. And trust me, I'm on the same page. At first, I didn't want to think this track would be considered a retro and would be a part of the new tracks, which made me originally want to put Wii U's Cloudtop Cruise. But the track did come out on tour first, making it a retro, and I think it's the best way to start off the final retro cup. For the second track, it's the almighty GCN Wario's Coliseum. I mean, come on, this track has to come back. It's freaking awesome and would look amazing with an HD overhaul. They could do so much with a huge cage ball, and to this day I'm still shocked they never added it to Deluxe with the whole anti-gravity gimmick, it would have been perfect. Even if this track appears in a different cup, I believe it's definitely making its return. Speaking of grand returns, for track number three, it definitely has to be Wii Toad's Factory. 
This has to be the number one track fans want to see it make a return, and if it doesn't, I know a lot of people will riot, myself included. I'm shocked this track didn't return in Deluxe or Tour, but as I said with DS Airship Fortress, they have to save some of the really awesome tracks for the new game. I really hope this track makes it in. For the final track of the Bell Cup, I'm going with another Rainbow Road. That being DS Rainbow Road. This was the first track to ever add a loop and a corkscrew section, and I think Nintendo can really enhance on that. Making those sections even crazier, or just adding anti-gravity to them, would be pretty cool. I think this track deserves a glow up and would be really nice ending to the base game, Retro Cups. So here's a quick recap of all those predictions. For the Shell Cup, GBA Luigi Circuit, RMX Donut Plains 1, N64 Koopa Troopa Beach, and DS Yoshi Falls. For the Banana Cup, SNES Mario Circuit 2, GBA Lakeside Park, Wii Dry Dry Ruins, and N64 DK's Jungle Parkway. For the Leaf Cup, N64's Frappe Snowland, DS Luigi's Mansion, GCN Dino Dino Jungle, and 3DS Shy Guy Bazaar. For the Lightning Cup, DS Airship Fortress, Wii U Dragon Driftway, 3DS Bowser's Castle, and GCN Rainbow Road. For the new Heart Cup, GCN Peach Beach, 3DS Daisy Hills, DS Delfino Square, and Wii U Sunshine Airport. And for the final cup, the Bell Cup, Tor Piranha Plant Pipeline, GCN Wario's Coliseum, Wii Toad's Factory, and DS Rainbow Road. Well everyone, there you have it. My retro track predictions for Mario Kart X. This is really fun to make, but also somewhat challenging, as there's still tons of other tracks that also deserve the spotlight. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what retro tracks you want to see in Mario Kart X. As always, hope to see you in the next video. Look out.